All right, so, so what, if I die, where do I go? If I die, where do I go? So, so with level of, levels of consciousness, what do levels of consciousness mean? Uh, let's say, you know, what do they, how do I interpret that? So if I'm at a very, very low level of consciousness, it will mean that I'm extremely identified with my thinking and my body. And, and also, at the, the lower levels of consciousness, each level orchestrates everything in its, its level of consciousness. So let's say I was in the, uh, the level of shame and guilt, around mm. the level of shame and guilt. Um, then, uh, if I'm vibrating at that, yeah, it was a funny noise. Yeah, we're, talking about, <laughs> we're talking about dark stuff now. So if I was at the level of uh, shame and guilt... Uh, uh, oh, sh yeah, okay. Well, don't say that word, okay. Uh, if, if I'm at the level of... Uh, we will not, we'll not say the word that should not be named. <laughs> I'm on camera, otherwise we'll get an interruption from the thing at the back of the room. And, uh, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not okay, so uh, so when I, when you're at that resonance, shame, well, guilt, you know, guilt, guilt, guilt means punishment. Yeah. Yeah. Guilt means punishment. Shame, shame is like deserving to die, something like yeah. that. So if I'm either either if I'm at shame and guilt, I want to kill myself or want to kill others, basically mm. harm others. You know, vigilantes. Uh, you know, these are the people that deserve to die. Or, or I deserve to die, whatever it is. So that, and, and also you'll be attracted to all the darkness in the world if you have too much shame and guilt in you. Joining the local satanic group or the local, um, the local, um, you know, how to, how, to, how to chop people up into hundreds of bits. Uh, local voodoo, how do I put a curse on people? All of those things, you know, how do I destroy my enemies? All of those things will start to be attractive you know, at that very low vibration, shame and guilt. Also, if you're into alcohol and drugs, um, I don't know why I'm talking about this anyway. So alcohol and drugs, you know, you can actually, you, you can actually, uh, when you go into have a lot of alcohol or drugs, and if you're in a, like a, in a bad energy environment, and you take those drugs and, and you're starting to vibrate at shame and guilt, you can be taken over by a demonic entity. So those, uh, those, uh, those things of like, something took, well, you know, why did you shoot 20 people? Well, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, suddenly I heard this voice in my head say, in the name of God, kill everyone. So I just followed it and just said, this is God, kill everyone in this street. And I did it. So when you get to those very, very low vibrations, you, could, you know, you might start to see all kinds of things. Um, so, and what would happen if you died at that point? It's not going to be good because that, you know, that attractive field is like, if you like, the weight of your, um, shall, we, shall we use the word the weight of your soul? I can't think of another word for it. It's the weight of your ego. So that much of negative, all that repressed shame and guilt is like a vibration that pulls you to an energy field and all those thoughts that you're tuning into. So as soon as you pop out of body, this world is a world for transcending the ego. Mm -hmm. These are all my views, take what you want, leave the rest. Um, this world is for transcendence. So the great opportunity in this world is that you're, you're attached to your body, so you don't flip straight into the, into the realm that is your spirit's vibration. I don't know if this makes sense. Because if I wasn't in a body, there, and say like my level of consciousness was shame and guilt, then I would go to that astral realm that is the direct match and the direct match would mean that most of the other entities that are d direct match for vibration are about the same vibration. So, so if I'd been, um, let's say my, I think a great thing is like if I was a member of the Mafia, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Like, you know, you shoot, shoot everyone who doesn't pay your, your fees. Because the Mafia is like the inverse, I don't know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. The Mafia is the inverse of the angelic realm. You know, like the big Mafia boss you know, to work your way up the Mafia ranks, like you probably have to do more horrific things, mm -hmm. and then you get promoted to junior boss. And if you do like a, a huge, huge massacre, then you can get to like the assistant for the Mafia boss. You did that, that was so, like, that was so horrific. <laughs> With all the newspapers, you are now junior assistant to the Mafia boss. 
And if you can manage to kill the mafia boss, then you become mafia, the mafia. So that's like, that's like the going up the demonic ranks, you know, and that's mm -hmm. what it's like in hell, you know, like, you know. So, <laughs> and like the angelic realm, you know, you've got your junior angels, then you've got, you've got your archangels, and you've got your thing. So like, if you can be a bigger channel of love and light, you know, and be more forgiving, and bring more light into the world, you know, you're like, you're okay, you're a junior angel, we're going to promote you to being archangel now, you know, it's like, you know, so you go up the ranks. It's not a mental thing, it's just a vibrational thing. You know, I don't want, to, I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to judge like the mafia or the angelic realm or anything. But anyway, so it's like that. So the vibration, so once you're at that vibration, see, in this realm, because you're, you're hooked, the spirit's hooked into a body. Mm. So this, in this realm, what it means is a, it's a purgatorial realm. It's a, world, a realm for transcendence. It means that in this realm, because we've got, we've got these bodies that can anchor different vibrations into the same realm, you see. So being in, having a human body gives you the capacity to be in a realm of multiple levels of consciousness simultaneously. So what I would say is like, you know, I could walk on the street and meet Buddha and, and an axe murderer on the same street. You know, so I could meet someone at the highest level of consciousness, and I can meet an axe murderer on the same street. So I have an opportunity <clears throat> to learn from Buddha or forgive the axe murderer. And so increase my level. So this world has, has like everything from the, the most divine to the most horrific on it, <clears throat> all in one world. So while I'm here, I can meet angels in, in bodies, and I can meet, you know, demons in bodies, essentially. So, but what, when I leave this body, then it's just my vibration. I'm no longer hooked into the physical body, which means that if I was like in a realm where I was like tormenting other people and tormenting myself and killing others and putting voodoo spells on others or whatever it is, then I no longer have the body. So I'll just flip into a, a vibrational, vibrational realm, the astral realm, which is the, and most of my, most of my fellows would be at the same vibration as me. Mm. So, so if I've been killing and murdering in this realm, all my, all my buddies and spirits will also be the mafia of people, you know, and I'll be in a realm where there is, we're all having that same vibration. We no longer got bodies, so we're all quite similar. Mm. Now, the uh, angelic realms, the angelic realms, like if I've been practicing A Course in Miracles and loving, you know, I see Christ in you, God, you look just like Christ, or whatever it is. I see you're so sinless and pure, and everyone here is so sinless. And, in fact, there's no two of us, there's just, we're just one, one big piece of love here, you know. So, if that's what I've been doing my whole life, and there's hardly any ego, and there's just infinite love all the time, and I flip out of the body, but if there's some sense of separation, then I'll flip into the angelic realm. You know, where, you know, you could say like, oh, you know, everyone's just trying to be loving to each other. We're probably listening to like hymns the whole day long. There's also different heavenly realms, you know, like everyone's just trying to be more forgiving than the next person. So it's just love and love and love. And we're still in separation because there's still a little bit of separation left. If you start to go into, so that would be, you know, those are the, you have the, the astral realms at different vibrations that go down and down. And, uh, and as Hawkins said, you know, first you're going into, uh, so we call them levels of hell, the lower, level, the lower astral realm, the levels of hell, where you're still feeling separate in spirit, not in body. And there's other, you know, like, oh, I'm, I feel like I'm a spirit body. You know when you go into dreams, but you still feel like you're real, you know, body. So that would be like a, you know, I had, um, I had, uh, I think, you know, I had something like, a, you know, I think everyone can relate, like these dreams where you feel you're in hell. Anyone relate? You haven't got a body, but you can still feel like you're there. And this horrible, th I had this thing with just, just two teeth, like coming down the, coming down the thing, running after me. And I was going, and, and the place was like dripped with like this gloom, doomy, horror movie gloom kind of thing. And I go, so I was probably like in there, you know, <laughs> having a little taste of what it was like, you know. So it was just horrible. So, you know, so yeah, I don't want to go back there, you know. So. Uh, and then, and then, when you go into the even deeper levels, I, mean, I think I haven't been to the very deep. I think I went to the upper levels of hell. I experienced in my dreams. Deeper levels are just infinite hell forever. There's no dualistic this or that. Then, when you go into the first levels of the heavenly realm, 
Uh, I think most Course in Miracles students, uh, most uh, strong spirituals, should be going at least to the at least the. If you still feel separate, you'll be going into the angelic realms, where it's like oh, you know, there's ever you know, like you know, there's good dreams where everyone's lovely and you're lovely and everyone loves each other. That's probably what the those heaven realms. If you go, if you come enlightened, then you'll be into the infinite realms where there's no this or that. So you, then you'll be into the realms of higher levels of infinite power. Uh, high levels of infinite power, but there's no this and this. When I had my white light spiritual experience, you realize that the level of infinite light and love is so blinding that there cannot be a thought, there cannot be, a, there cannot be even color. It's like the infinite light is just beyond anything. So, that, so you can imagine like levels of light becoming more and more intense, uh, going higher and higher into the infinite realms beyond form. So, um, so yeah, so I mean, look, if you're a devoted spiritual seeker, you know, uh, you're just going to go into a realm which is the exact correlation. Yeah. And then you might be spat back into this world because it, this world is better to do spiritual work than just, you know, like if you're, in a, if you're in a realm where you've got a few dark spots but everyone's nice to you, it's hard to do spiritual work. Does that make sense? Coming back down here in a body, and you know, someone like hitting you on the head is going to be easier than having surrounded by angels all day long. You know, so you get spat back in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the main thing was for me was just to understand that it has nothing to do with that anthropomorphic thing of God punishing you and sending you to a hellish place. You know, it is just the thing where you're vibrating at a certain level, and you go to a certain realm that is, you know, correlated, you know, it's the same thing, you know, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that was important, because uh, sometimes I, I, like, I, I still, uh, still a challenge to understand the non-dualistic approach of Hawkins in everything that he says, and sometimes he sounds dualistic, but he probably is not being dualistic, but I, I, I hear it that way. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it. The, the, you know, every every action is important. Every action is important. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a judgment by God. Intention. Yeah, or the intention. You say because yeah. he does the, the. Yeah, the intention is probably a better word. But the, the intention thing. is like the overall anchor. But you know that which is perceived as will, you know, like every action, like you know, to forgive, or to not forgive you know, to, um, in every moment, you know, to, to forgive or not to forgive. The intention is like, you know, my intention is enlightenment, you know, or uh, is, it, uh, is that enlightenment. So that sets it up, and then what I perceive as, as my independent will has daily choices during the day, mm -hmm. seemingly, even though that's not, not really typically correct. So, you know, shall I, you know, like, shall I forgive the person who, you know, walked in front of me in the tube or was like making too much noise next to me or shall I not forgive? Mm -hmm. So you, the, your intention like leads you, you know, is very, very important. You know, to choose that, the, the Hawkins said there's two major spiritual intentions, unconditional love or enlightenment. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the two. Like Christ, you forgive your neighbor. You know, just try and forgive everyone, try and love everyone, mm -hmm. uh, try and be a nice person, try and be kind and set that as your one intention all the time, with no exceptions, and that will take you to unconditional love. Or if you want to, to set your intention for enlightenment, then you're trying to dissolve the very essence of duality out of this and of that. Those are the two major ones. I mean, if your major goal is to be the best tennis player in the world, or whatever it is, that's a different intention, and then that guides all your, all your, all your choices. Um, so, um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.